that you know life is not over you only have three times to take it i filled it twice uh whatever but like when you first graduate college you're still a baby where you're still a baby you're still a child <laughs> I just came from work and I really wanted to make this video because it was just weighing on my chest. I have so much things to talk about, I don't even know where to start. Let's start with post-grad, what the F. If you guys are new here, my name is Lay Life and I basically talk about lifestyle, beauty, and a little bit of school here, there, and then I say this every video. And make sure that you subscribe and like this video. So we're gonna get right into it. Okay, so I graduated last year with my BS in health science. And I feel like when you graduate, it's common for people to go into like postgraduate depression because you think that you're gonna have the, the house, the car, the kids, the love. And that's not how it goes. Like, when I was at school, so basically, let me give you a little backstory. So I basically went to school during COVID. I started my freshman year in 2019. The first semester we were on campus, the second semester we were off campus because of COVID, we got kicked off. So from the second semester of my freshman year all the way until the beginning of my junior year was basically remote. And I'm not a remote learner. Like I have to be in the classroom, I have to be asking the questions. But when it came to online learning, like I became very uninterested, but in my gut, like I knew that I had to finish my degree. So I ended up switching my degree from nursing to health science because I just felt like it wasn't for me at the time so that's what it was and it was kind of hard for me to do internships because when I was applying to internships online nobody was reaching back out to me so I was just like damn like I had to figure it out and do an internship at my school and I felt like I wasn't in my field. So when you know you're graduating, you're thinking that you're gonna get a job in your field. People is telling me, like administration is telling me like, oh well, like you know, I have a um opportunity for you. You try the opportunity out, you fill the application out, you're thinking that you're gonna get the job and you don't get it. And it's also been a year since I've been looking for a job in my field. A year and some change. But, you know, I feel like everybody is running their own race because in my head i was thinking like damn like oh i'm not in my field this is what i should be doing everybody else is doing this or everybody else is doing that but then again it's just like now that i sit, i'm sitting with myself and i just turned 23 like the other day i needed some self-development like serious self-development i need to mature a little bit more i needed a little bit more people skills i needed to get out of my comfort zone a little bit more like it was just so much things that i knew for myself that i needed right so i'm thinking to myself like damn like imagine if i was in my profession now right i promise I promise you, I probably would have been kicked out of, out, out of several facilities by now because I just felt like at that time, like, I wasn't ready and I really needed to grow. Like, I really need to grow as a person. And throughout this time, through post-grad, and now I really feel like I've grown. Like, I've been put in several situations. I've, I'm able to manage my emotions a little bit better because I feel like when you first graduate college, you're still a baby, where you're still a baby you're still a child so you don't really really know what you want i really feel like you don't have a sense of what you want like you don't have an idea of what you really want until you're like 23 because like now it's kind of like oh i don't really like that I like this but being that i was at school i kind of got a sense of just like being away from home and i think that helped me grow a lot if i was still in brooklyn oh my god i probably would have been the same person and it's just like ew Oh, ew. but now that I was away and I came back home it's kind of like okay like I got a sense of being away from my parents and not depending on my parents as much so the things that I've been working on post-grad so I graduated in May I started for botany school in October of 2023 I took the NHA twice I didn't take it three times you only have three times to take it I filled it twice then in April of 2024 I ended up taking my EKG class and it was like four weeks both classes was four weeks 
and I ended up passing the energy for that so that's where I'm at right now and I just felt like the, you know life is not over I felt like through those things it kind of helped me get a sense of what I liked and what I didn't like and I really like the EKG way better than the phlebotomy like I also want to further my education because now jobs is not asking for a bachelor's they're asking for a master's and it's just like babes like can I even get a job with my bachelor's now like what's going on like why are not hiring and I feel like the job market sucks right now like it's really garbage but that's okay because you know you know God they always say that God's plan is the best one so we're just gonna go from there and I feel like I just want to keep to myself but we're gonna get right into that after I did all those like classes and whatnot in between those I was traveling with my friends I feel like going on those trips really made me understand myself more as a person and I had fun um, I went to Jamaica for Christmas I went to the Poconos for New Year's and I went to Brazil for my best friend's birthday which is in June and I really had a, a good time thinking about it. It made me realize like what's for me and what's not for me. The way that I'm feeling right now, and it's so funny because this is gonna be like kind of like a raw uncut video, but I'm just ranting right now. I really had to come from work and make this video because this is how I know that I'm destined for something good because the enemy, the enemy is always trying to take me on. No matter wherever I am, I always try to be a good person, but this is always always somebody trying to take me out i don't know why i don't know why but i know that i'm destined for something good because it's always a arch nemesis somewhere always all right so just turned 23 in august i don't know when i'm gonna upload this video and i just feel like 23 has really been an eye-opener for me and basically just like where i'm at in my life right now i know i'm still young but i definitely am in a space where i just want to take a break from social media the lessons that i've learned from being 23 is definitely just being i feel like i became like more self-aware of my emotions and just figuring out how to speak up for myself a little bit more and just being more or like aggressive with the things that I want but I'm also working on being more feminine that's my biggest thing trying to be more feminine um, and when it comes to social media also I definitely want to take a break from social media and just use it for just like business purposes only I'm kind of pivoting back onto YouTube because I just felt like Instagram posting on Instagram to me felt like oh my gosh like why you know because you can't see who's sharing your stuff it just gives me very much anxiety so i kind of stopped posting on instagram i love twitter i love tiktok um but yeah i'm gonna still post on instagram just not as much because it's just like it doesn't i don't know i just, I just need a break i just need a break from it and I think that I just need to take this time out. Just like pour into myself a little bit more. Spend more time with myself. Um, me, and then on top of that, I really like the idea of being mysterious. Like, it's like I want to be extra mysterious. Like I want to be able to post that I'm like 42nd Street, but I'm really in the Queens. You know what I mean? Or I want to post that I'm in this restaurant, but I'm on my way to like a different state. So I just feel like the more mysterious I am, the more it's just fun. Like... It just gives that very much like, like what she's doing, like who she with. I want to know more about her. Like I want to know more about her and what she's doing. Because like when you give everybody, oh, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. They're going to be up to date with your life. When you don't know somebody for real, it gives like a little curiosity. Like what she's up to, what she's thinking. So when I post a little bit here or there, it's just like, oh shit, like Shalay, you know. But on that note... Um, I'm probably going to make more content soon on this channel. I definitely want to make more videos because it just definitely helps me because I'm a, I'm a certified yapper. So I just talk a lot. Like I know in person, I'm really a yapper, but in online, I'm so over social media right now. I just need space. Anyway, I'm going to make this like one of my main hobbies now because I kind of miss talking to a camera and just hearing myself talk so that's 
I'm excited for that. Since I've just been young, I've been trying to just get myself together because before I know, I'm only 25, and you know when you're 25, you that you hit that midlife crisis. Yeah, I'm not trying to hit that midlife crisis. I think I've done there, been there. I'm not going back for more for some of the stuff that I've done. And that's just me being real. That's just me being realistic. Like, everybody doesn't need to know what I'm doing. Everybody doesn't need to know where I'm at all the time. I don't need to be in the loop all the time. Like, I like being home. Now, before I used to like to go out a lot, a lot. But lately, I like being reserved. Like, I like to go to reserved spots low-key spots i don't want to be in everybody's face for real sometimes i don't know if it's just me but like lately i've been on some like yeah i'll go out for like an hour hour and a half and then i want to come right back into my bed to rub my feet together because it's just like come on like ugh. especially if i'm in heels i don't want to stand up all night in heels you know y'all get me ugh whatever but this is how i know i'm destined to be something great in life because the enemy my arch nemesis there's always an arch nemesis that's trying to take me out always trying to take me out of character always trying to take me out of place always gotta like always want to start with me always something it's always something with somebody somewhere and it's so funny because i feel like i'm a very genuine person so when i feel like when people perplex my soul it's like why why would you do that to me though? Because I would never do that to you. Anyways, on that note, thank you guys so much for watching my video. Like, subscribe, share, comment on my video. And tune into the next video. Hugs and kisses. Bye. Yeah. Hold on. Is my hair okay? What is this on my camera? Oh, it's the light. Hold on. Is it going to go away? Oh. Come dance with me. Come dance with me. Hey. I just think that my brain runs at a thousand miles per hour. A lot of girls be like. Oh, I need to do my hair over. When I need to treat my hair. I need to do my hair over. But either way, even if I do my hair over, I might want to do a half up, half down. But then if my costume come, because you know it's Halloween. But then these curls last me a minute. Do I really need to do my hair over? I just got to retouch the top of my head. <sighs> Girl thoughts.